These big white bears are polar bears. They live in the Arctic. Brr. It would be impossible for us to live there without shelter. But polar bears are built for the cold. Their fur prevents almost all heat loss. They actually have two coats. Polar bear fur is made up of a dense, insulating undercoat and topped with longer, coarse guard hairs. Even though polar bears look white, their fur isn't actually white. It's pigment-free and transparent. The hairs scatter and reflect visible light, much like ice and snow does. But underneath all that fur, did you know polar bear skin is black? That helps them absorb heat from the sun. Polar bears also rely on a layer of fat that can be over 11 centimeters thick to keep them warm. This is also known as blubber. When polar bears swim in the icy Arctic Ocean, they rely on this layer of fat to hold in their body heat. Wet fur is not a great insulator, but blubber is. Mother polar bears keep their cubs out of the water because cubs don't have enough body fat to stay warm and it could be very dangerous for them to walk around with freezing wet fur. Aw, poor little cubs. The polar bear's tail looks so tiny compared to the rest of this big bear. Polar bear tails tend to be around 10 centimeters long. Polar bears also have very small rounded ears. Because it's so cold in the Arctic, having small ears and a tiny tail makes it easier for polar bears to conserve heat. Having extra fur on their paws helps too. Polar bear paws are about 30 centimeters across. Having such large paws help them walk on thin ice. On the bottom of each paw are black foot pads that are covered by small bumps known as papillae. Papillae grip the ice and keep the bear from slipping. The polar bear's massive paws are slightly webbed, and so they also function as large paddles when swimming. Amazing, look at them go. Just how big are polar bears? Adult polar bears get up to about 2.5 meters long from nose to tail. Males weigh between 350 to 700 kilograms. Female polar bears usually weigh about half that amount. Are polar bears the largest bear on earth? We think so. But a close second is the Kodiak bear, a special kind of brown bear native to Alaska. The heaviest recorded Kodiak was bigger than the heaviest recorded polar bear, but it looks like that was kind of a fluke. On average, polar bears are longer and heavier. This makes the polar bear the largest carnivorous land mammal. It may surprise you, given their size, that polar bears are actually very fast runners. They can run up to 40 kilometers per hour. That's as fast as a horse. Polar bears can't run for very long though. It can lead to overheating because of their super warm fur. This makes hunting for land animals pretty hard. They can't spend their time running after prey like lions or cheetahs. So polar bears use their camouflage to blend in with their surroundings. The polar bear blends in perfectly with the Arctic sea ice, allowing them to quietly sneak up to their prey. They often go unnoticed even within five to 10 meters of their prey. Even so, polar bears have an easier time catching their food from the sea. Polar bears are great swimmers. Unlike running, they are able to swim for long periods of time. They've even been discovered swimming 100 kilometers away from land. Wow! Polar bears can also hold their breath to dive underwater to catch their prey. What's their favorite food? Seals. Hmm, polar bears love to eat seals, which are very high in fat. Polar bears must eat a lot of fat to stay warm. Aside from seals, polar bears occasionally eat other ocean mammals, including whales and walruses. On land, they've been known to eat caribou, reindeer, and birds. But these animals are much harder for polar bears to catch. Remember, to catch something on land, a polar bear would most likely have to run, which can lead to overheating. Uh -oh. Polar bears are usually solitary, except for when it's time to find a mate and raise a cub. Polar bears usually mate in April and May. Pregnant female polar bears eat a lot in the summer, building up their fat reserves. When fall comes, they make a small cozy den, like a little snow cave, just big enough to turn around in. The mother polar bear crawls into the little cave in October or November, lets the snow build up around the entrance to the den, and goes into a state of torpor. This is sort of like hibernation. The mother polar bear is very inactive, conserving her resources. Polar bear cubs are most often born in December. Twins are the most common, but polar bears can have one to three cubs at a time. Newborn cubs are around 30 centimeters long and weigh a little more than half a kilogram. 
They are born blind, toothless, and have very short fur. They're completely dependent on their mother, who feeds them rich milk that is almost 50% fat. The new family stays in their den until March or early April. The mother polar bear doesn't eat or drink and only focuses on providing for her cubs. Once spring arrives and the cubs are big enough, the family leaves the den together. The mother polar bear spends the next two to three years teaching the cubs how to hunt, feed, swim, and survive in the Arctic. When they are old enough to leave their mother and survive on their own, polar bears are called sub-adults. Polar bears are classified as marine mammals because they spend most of their lives on the Arctic sea ice. Sea ice is frozen seawater that floats on the ocean surface. It is a very common surface type in the Arctic and covers much of the ocean during the year. The sea ice allows the polar bears to move freely about the Arctic. Unlike other bears, polar bears don't have territories. This is because they are dependent on sea ice and seals. Sea ice is always moving in the ocean, so the polar bears must move with the ice as well as follow seal populations so they can eat. The Arctic is known for having very long cold winters and short cool summers. Some parts of the Arctic are covered in ice all year long. It's so cold there. In the winter, it can drop below negative 50 degrees Celsius. In July, the warmest time of year in the Arctic, it can be as hot as 10 degrees Celsius. That's like our winter here in Los Angeles. Polar bears and other Arctic animals must be very tough to survive. Polar bears can be found throughout the Arctic in five nations, the United States and Alaska, Canada, Russia, Greenland, and Svalbard, Norway. 60% of polar bears live in Canada. Because polar bears are so dependent on using sea ice to travel and find food, they are greatly affected by climate change. The rise in temperatures on the planet is melting the sea ice in the Arctic. This makes it more difficult for polar bears to live in an already harsh environment. Hopefully, human efforts to slow climate change and monitor the polar bear population can help polar bears adapt to these new uncertain conditions. What do you think of polar bears? Are they your favorite kind of bear? Or do you prefer brown bears? Or black bears? Grizzlies? Rawr. Let us know in the comment section below. We want to know what you think. Now it's time to watch another video about animals from Socratica Kids. Which one do you want to watch? You decide.